Hello Aquarius, welcome to a How They Feel About You love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. What are their feelings, intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you at this time? We're going to look at both of those things as well as their overall energy. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aquarius watching as I'm reading for a ton of Aquariuses. So keep that in mind. Not everything will resonate 100%. All right. Spirit Angels, guides. What do we need to know about this person that Aquarius is, has, or will be connecting with? The person they are thinking about at this time. What are their thoughts? feelings, energies towards Aquarius at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about Aquarius at this time? Okay, we have the Six of Swords. What are they thinking, feeling about Aquarius at this time? The person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about what they're thinking? Feeling when it comes to Aquarius spirit. What do we need to know? Okay, there you are, Aquarius, with the star, six of swords, seven of wands, the star, and the two of wands. Well, the six of swords is about departures, walking away, moving forward, moving into something more calm, more balanced. Seven of wands is about kind of fighting for something, standing firm. Two of Wands and the Star. The Star is about hope, faith, renewal. I feel like this involves you. So since this is your person's energy, I feel like they are making a choice or having to make a choice with the Two of Wands. They have to choose a path here with the Two of Wands. And I think one of those paths is to leave something behind. This might take courage with the Seven of Wands. We'll see. But I feel like they are hoping for things to work out here. Let's start with this two of wands. What's this decision about? Spare, why is the two of wands here? There's the two of wands here. Page of swords. Well, whatever path this is that they are choosing, I feel like this person could be deciding whether to speak up, communicate or not. Or they might have to be using their logic, their intelligence, rather than their emotions here. Tell me about this page of swords. Why is the page of swords here? Page of wands. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody taking the initiative to reach out. deciding whether to do that. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, Spirit. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? King of Swords. Okay, so maybe in their mind, if they were to come forward, yeah, you would be resistant to this. Four of Cups, Seven of Wands. Maybe you would block this or resist their, their message, not respond. There's the moon at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy. I think that this person, they don't really know how you feel or are not sure of um, how this would be received, their message. Maybe you walked away from them with the Six of Swords. Tell me about this Six of Swords or they walked away from you in the past and left this connection. So when they think about you now in the present, they're thinking about this. Let's see, what? why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is the Queen, not the Queen, why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here, Spirit? Six of Cups and Strength, Leo Energy. So something happened in the past between you. Yeah, there's the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There's, there was some sort of ending or difficulty that you and this person, that your connection experienced. I, I feel that one of you already walked away from the other. I 
And I get the sense with this Six of Cups and the Queen of Wands, um, I think that this person is still interested in you. Is still kind of holding on to the past here. Let's look at this person's overall energy. Spirit, tell me about this person's overall energy when it comes to Aquarius or this connection. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's overall energy when it comes to Aquarius or this connection? What do we need to know? Paralyzing fear, anxiety, fear, paralysis. Fear is holding you back. So they're scared. What else do we need to know about this person's overall energy? What do we need to know, Spirit, about their overall energy? An inner voice, intuition, guidance, answers. So I feel like this person is scared to open up and perhaps they wanted to communicate earlier, but their fear won't let them. Whoever this is. I feel like they wanted to come forward for some time. And they just haven't because they're, they're, they're terrified, whoever this is. And I think it's because of the ending between you. Whatever happened between you, it didn't end well with this Ten of Swords. What else do we need to know about this person's energy? Yeah, bad health. They're not doing well, this person. They're probably overcome by guilt, remorse, um... I feel like they, they still have feelings for you even though it didn't work out. Spirit, tell me about this person's intentions towards Aquarius. What are their genuine intentions? What are their genuine intentions towards Aquarius at this time? Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy. What are their genuine intentions? Towards Aquarius, sources connection, this person's genuine intentions. The magician, yeah. So they definitely want to manifest, make something happen. We have the emperor at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like they want to take charge of the situation. They want to make this happen. This connection, it's they're very focused on doing whatever it takes here, I feel, with the magician and the emperor. I mean, these two, they will get things done. They don't play around. They're they're very focused on getting things done. Spirit, what else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? That Aquarius is thinking about or connecting with. What else do we need to know? about this person what else do we need to know masculine divine masculine energy that's the emperor what do we need to know about this individual what do we need to know spirit anything else that we should be aware of capricorn ruled by saturn so this is like the devil energy of the major arcana but they could also have capricorn somewhere in their chart I feel like what's going on here is that your person is very focused because when I think of like the devil with the emperor, I think of someone that's like a little bit too consumed with control, with wanting things to turn out a certain way. And sometimes they don't make the best choices because they're you know, kind of wrapped up in that energy. I feel like this person, because they're so fearful, um, it might cause them to make a mistake here when it comes to you or their approach, they might say something dumb, you know, when they come forward or their presentation is sloppy. What do we need to know about this connection between Aquarius and this individual spirit? What do we need to know about this person? Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. 
Yeah, I definitely feel like this person, despite the fact that you're not together, they're very attracted to you, uh, drawn to you. And like I said earlier, a little too consumed here. They haven't been doing well. So, you know, this was a this ended badly between you and them. Um, it was a difficult ending between you, and I feel like they're not over it. Not truly. So, what do they want to tell you, Aquarius? What does this person want to tell Aquarius? Spirit, what do they wish to tell Aquarius at this time? What do they wish to tell Aquarius at this time. I'll be messaging you. Okay, well, I think they definitely are motivated. I'm Maybe they'll overcome their fear and send that message. Bottom of the deck, we have, you matter to me. Let's get a hidden truth oracle as well. What else? What else do we have to, um, or what else does this person want to tell Aquarius? What else does this, this person want to tell Aquarius Spirit? What do they hope to tell them at this time? Or wish that they could tell them at this time? What do they wish they could tell Aquarius at this time? I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, regrets, regrets. I think that's part of the, the problem as well, is that they didn't treat you the way that you deserve, Aquarius, and now it's much more difficult to come forward and face you. Because they know they were wrong. You know, they know that a lot of the blame po probably falls on their shoulders here, or at least they feel that way, you know, and... and you know, when they do decide to send this message, I feel it's with the expectation that it'll be rejected. That's really what I'm thinking here. So that's what I have for you, uh, for how this person's thinking, feeling about you and their intentions towards you. Actually, before... I wrap it up. Let me get one more for the magician. I feel it's going to be tied up to, to this page of swords and page of wands, but let's see. Spirit, can I get one more for the magician? Why is the magician here? What can you tell us about the magician? Temperance. Yeah. So fixing this, resolving this nine of cups at the bottom or seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. So like how to, how to make this happen, how to, have harmony how to resolve this issue sagittarius energy but i didn't say that already so that's really the end goal here is to fix this all right so i'll definitely leave it there aquarius thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it resonated for you uh, thank you so much for checking out the reading uh, if you enjoyed it hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you and i will see you all in another video uh, very soon take care